Hello, I'm Mark McClellan, Stewardship Coordinator with the Georgia Forestry Commission. And welcome to our virtual Landowner Field Day series. Today we're going to discuss pine bark beetles. Pine bark beetles are devastating. They can destroy thousands of acres of timber and cost landowners millions of dollars. So to better understand these bark beetles, we have invited Lynn Womack, our forest health specialist, to help us better understand these beetles, to help us identify them, and the best course of action to take for management. We're here today in the Piedmont of Georgia in a mixed pine hardwood stand that has both loblolly and shortleaf pine. They are approximately 50 years old and they've been regenerated naturally. This stand was found by one of our local foresters driving by and he saw some dead pine trees, so we thought we'd check it out. Let's go see what we can find. When we talk about pine bark beetles in Georgia, we really talk about three species or groups of beetles. The black turpentine beetle, Ips beetles, of which there are three species in all of the state, and one species that's only in North Georgia, and then southern pine beetle. Southern pine beetle can be the most destructive bark beetle that we have here in Georgia. They're found in different parts of the tree and in trees that are at different stress levels. Black turpentine beetle is usually found in the first eight to 10 feet of the bowl of the tree, and Ips and southern pine beetle can be found throughout the tree. Both black turpentine and Ips beetles usually attract stressed trees, be that from lightning strikes or drought or high temperatures, and southern pine beetle can actually attack both stressed and healthy pine trees. What are some of the things we should be looking for as we walk through the forest? Well, for southern pine beetle, one of the biggest signs are green needles on the ground. It's a sign that these trees are highly stressed. Other signs to look for when you're looking for pine bark beetles are some of the pitch tubes and boring dust you'll find on the tree. When we talk about southern pine beetle, the pitch tubes are usually small and in the bark crevices, and Ips beetles are similar size, but will be on the flat bark plates of the pine tree. Black turpentine beetles have a much larger pitch tube, which is usually about the size of a quarter and only in the first eight to 10 feet of the trunk. The final way that we identify which kind of bark beetle we have is by the galleries that they leave under the bark. When you peel back the bark, you'll find that southern pine beetle creates S-shaped or wandering galleries. Ips beetles create more straight as I or H or Y-shaped galleries. And black turpentines will just have a very short, wide gallery. These galleries are what will actually end up killing the tree. They will slow the flow of nutrients and girdle the tree. Southern pine beetle and Ips beetles also carry blue stain fungus, which slows the nutrient flow in the tree. The reason it's important to be able to properly identify what kind of pine bark beetles you have on your property is that we manage differently based on which species you have. The first part of preventing these species is to manage for healthy forests. We can do that through using proper thinning techniques, prescribed burning, and competition control from both invasive species and hardwoods. Now that we've learned how to properly identify what kind of pine bark beetles you might have on your property, we need to know what to do once you find them. So with black turpentine beetles, they're usually attracted to stressed trees and only affect one or two trees at a time, so there's no management that's needed. With Ips beetles, they're attracted to stressed trees, usually those are lightning strikes or in times of drought, and in typical years here in Georgia, they could kill maybe five to 25 trees at a time. On our drought years, these can grow up to a couple of acres in size. But ironically enough, the best thing to do with Ips beetles is to leave them alone because if we come in and harvest from the stand, we're just gonna attract more beetles with the flow of sap in these trees. Southern pine beetle can be our most destructive pine bark beetle here in Georgia. It can kill several acres a day. Once we've identified that we have southern pine beetle in a forest, we like to go out and find the leading edge of these, which means finding the trees that actually actively have southern pine beetle in them. Once we've marked these trees, we can then come up with a harvesting plan. Harvesting starts with a buffer. Southern pine beetle moves with a leading edge, almost like a wildfire, and it's important that we get in front of that leading edge. 
we harvest a buffer of anywhere from one to two tree lengths, which in this part of Georgia is about 150 feet. Once we've harvested the buffer, we can move forward and harvest everything inside of that buffer. One of the most important things you can do as a landowner is to monitor for some of these signs that we talked about today. The other thing that's important to do is to manage for healthy forests, including keeping the basal area under 90 square feet. I know we talked about a lot of stuff today, and if you have any other questions, please contact your local county GFC forester. Thanks, Lynn, for sharing tips about the pine bark beetles. If you want to learn more about beetles or other stewardship topics, please visit our website, gatrees.org. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, and we'll see you next time.